In the previous video, we sampled audio data using i squares and DME. The next step is to store this data within an SD card. But first, I want to show how to work with SDAO peripheral and FATFS stack. I expect that you have a FAT32 formatted SD card. So let's configure the SDAO peripheral using the Cubimix software. So I will open IOC file. And within the connectivity, we have SDAO. And here I cannot choose a um, 4 bit option, 4 bit mode, because some of the pins are connected as I2 3 pins, to be specific PC12 and PC10. So I'm going to change the configuration of these pins. So for the PC12, uh, we have SDIO, SDIO clock, and for PC10, we have data line 2. And in my case, I'm using stm 32 f 4 discovery board. If you're using something else, this configuration printout might be slightly different. Then I can enable this option. And here we can keep all the parameters as default except clock divide factor. So let me explain how you can set this factor properly. Uh, every SD card has its own maximum uh, operating frequency. So in my case, I'm using class type 4, which means uh, having maximum 4 bytes, 4 megabytes data rate, in other words, 32 megabits data rate, maximum data rate. And we, uh, we, and we can transfer 4 bits at the same time, simul simultaneously. So this means we can work maximum at 32 divided by 4 at 8 megahertz. So the clock of the SD card must not exceed 4 megahertz if, if you're using class type 4 SD card. And if you open the clock configuration, we have this clock output, which is around 48 megahertz, and this clock runs the SD card. And when we set some value, some clock divide factor, for example, 8, we divide this 48 by 8 plus 2. So the, simp so the equation is this uh, frequency divided by this factor plus 2. So if when I set 8, we have uh, roughly speaking 48 megahertz divided by 10. So I get around 4.8 4 megahertz. And since 4.8 is less than 8 megahertz, the SD card will work fine with the microcontroller. Next, we need to enable FATFS stack. So I choose SD card. And here we have just a single parameter to configure. Usually in SD card slots, you have um, uh, pin um, for detecting SD card presence. So when you insert the SD card, you can detect this ev event using this pin. So we need to connect the detect SD card detect pin to one of the pins of the microcontroller and we need to do it right over here. So I will use PD0 for that purpose. So uh, I can figure this pin as GPIO input and I can give some user label. And here we you just need to choose PD0. So we have everything. And, and just a final note. Um, so we have a GPIO settings. So don't forget to connect these pins to the SD card. Uh, to the corresponding pins of the SD card slot. Also, we have PD0 for um, SD card detect. So finally, we can save the file so it will generate a code for us. If you're looking for hands-on experience in programming the microcontrollers, this course is for you, where we cover various communication protocols to communicate with IMU sensors. Also, we will cover 
basic as well as advanced topics related to the attitude estimation and we will implement all the equations within the microcontroller. Next I'm going to create a header and source file. Then we open the header file and we declare this function for initializing the SD card. Then we open the source file and we define this function. So first we have to use this function um, when working with the SD card. And this function returns some value. And by checking the value of, of, of this result, so if we open the declaration of this data type, we have different type of errors. So if the function returns zero, it means that everything worked fine. If not, by just looking at this, we can understand what kind of errors happened. So we mount, so we use this function, then we check the result. If it is not equal to zero, if some error happened, we just uh, print this file, the, the error. If not, we just um, print this message. So that's why we need these two variables. Also, we need some header files. We need this header file just to use printf function. Then we have this to work with fatfs stack. Then we open the main function. Then we use, um, then we include this header file that we just created. Then uh, here I'm going to use this initialization, initialization function. Also I set 500 millisecond delay. So let's see how it works. So we just uh, debug. And at this point I expect that you connected the SD card slot to your micro microcontroller. So let's resume the code. And I get this message, succeeded in mounting an SD card. So this means that this function worked well. So we will continue uh, working with the SD card. And before, uh, and before recording the audio and the storing it within the SD card, I'm going to create just a txt file within the SD card just to test that everything works fine. So first we need to create this variable with this data type and pay attention to the fact that we are using static keywords. You can refer to my other video where I explain why we need static keyword. Then we have these three additional local variables. First, this is the name of the file that we want to create. So I'm going to create test txt file. Also, we need this uh, var variable, I will explain it later. And finally, we need this um, uh, buffer, this array, to write this text within this file. So when we open the SD card, we will have this uh, file with this name, and when we open, we need to have this uh, text. Uh, next, we need to open the file. So we have uh, this function and it has three arguments. So first argument is the file itself that we created before. Then we have file name, but here we need to use, uh, we need to provide a void um, address. So we, we're using type casting. And the third option is, is, is the mode of the file. So we wanna write, to the file and we want to create if the file doesn't exist. And again, we're using uh, this uh, variable just to check the, the outcome of this function. If the, if the return value is not zero, we have some error. If not, we, we just print this message. And, and as you might, uh, and as you see, I'm using this while loop if we have some error. We open the file then of course we need to write some data. For that purpose, uh, we, we're gonna use this function. 
First argument is the file itself. Then we have some data. So I'm going to write this um, string. And also we have this uh, argument, which basically shows how many bytes we could, we could write uh, within the file. So we can basically check whether we could uh, write the whole data or just a part of it. But right now I, I am not going to check it. So again, we, we just check the, the result. If everything okay, we, we just print this message. After editing the file, we use this function to close the file. And it has just one argument. So finally, uh, let's debug. So when we resume the code, you have to get these three messages. messages. Otherwise, uh, just check uh, the, all the steps that I proceeded. So if I insert the SD card, we have this test file and within this test file, we have this message. Next step is to store audio data rather than creating just a text document.